Here's one of the fun toys from back in the day. Cobra gunship. These things are awesome. Welcome to the U.S. Army Proving Grounds. Other than that, you got a gate and all that good stuff. And so begins the tour of the Yuma Proving Grounds Museum. And it has got some goodies in it. So, and just sit back and enjoy. Looks at the armor. This is their little museum. All of these vehicles were tested here between World War II and now. Which I don't see an M1 Abrams, which would be really cool. But uh, here's a nice little M113 armored personnel carrier. I think this is a Sherman. I think one thing, ugly little mugger. But, yep, Sherman. Wow. There you go. Hey, look at the turret on that thing. Small. And here we have another fun toy. I think this is an M60. Yep, M60 main battle tank. Can't read much. Huh. Now that's an interesting conglomeration there. It's probably a recovery vehicle. I think they use this to dig out rubberments. Yeah, try that one again. It's an engineer vehicle. Hmm. Look at all these goodies. Do not climb on the vehicles. Yeah, there's a lot of people who just can't read these. So. Now this is cool. It's a self-propelled gun. Oh, we're, we're missing one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This is the proving grounds out here. If you listen, you can hear the rumble of something. Sounds like aircraft. I'm not seeing anything though. The 107. This howitzer saw combat in Vietnam. Wow. Well, now we just go walk around here and get you a frontal shot. Well, hey, look, and Omar loves Chris. Sweethearts. <laughs> Yep. I think that bugger's big. Oh, let's see what else we got. Oh, the dippity doo dah tank. <laughs> windy, 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 windy. Say hi, guys. <laughs> Looks like it might be an M26. Wouldn't swear to it. Let's see what the thing says. Somebody had a problem driving it. <laughs> oh, M103. You know, I bet these things still run. But I bet the hatches are welded closed. M17, medium tank, another one you can't really read. That's a big barrel. <laughs> The 
some muzzle brake on that. Huh. Here we have a recovery vehicle, it looks like. A little bit of everything in here. Yeah. Yeah, they welded that and they broke the weld. Huh? Ain't gonna mess with it. Last thing I need is trouble with these people to run this place. And my photography's not that great, so. <clears throat> See what we got here. Hmm. Don't know. Blade for M47, 74 tank. Cold War, uh, so Cold War. <clears throat> and there's the workhorse of the U.S. Army in World War II. Yep. Pretty good little critter. M4A3 Sherman. Between the tracks. It's hard, whatever it is. This old girl has been hit a few times. Yeah, she got a few bullet things in her. left of the rubber tracks they use. <laughs> okay. Hello oh, there guys. The lizards. What is that? Howitzer. I'll be darned. Looked like a grant. The way the gun was. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Way I saw it. Okay. Pretty cool. And here we have some arty police. Artillery. Now the one you want to see out here is the Nike Herc. Because they were tested at White Sands Missile Range. Carriage number 69. to hand crank that up. Oof. Get out of the sun here. She is a beaut. It's amazing the technology we can come up with to kill each other. But wouldn't be human if we didn't. Let's see what we got over here. Then we'll take a walk over there. Look at 204 XM 204 Toad Howitzer. Used to test 105 ammunition. I'll be damned. Huh. I guess you could turn it on now. I don't know how this thing would turn on the dirt. Apparently this was a fixed gun here to test ammunition. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at yeah. what else we got here. <laughs> I 
Oh, ammo crate seen a few better days. Uh -huh. M114, 155. Well, this will make your ears ring. Wow. It's got a history. Huh. There's the toe section. These guys used to set these up by hand. God bless their hearts. Wow. Then we have a ditty bitty one over here. piece. Let's see what we got here. M101 105 millimeter toad howitzer. Cool. Light that thing off you get somebody's attention. <laughs> This is a new Stealth 107, M107, 175 millimeter self-propelled howitzer. Very, very hard to see in the daytime. And over here, we have a politician suppository. We can only wish. Not sure what that is. Just gonna find out. Well, the little John Rocket. Was a little brother to the Honest John. It's the Army's smallest nuclear capable rocket found use within the Army's Airborne Division. Air droppable, this system was tested at YPG from 58 and 59. Huh, cool. Hmm, there's nothing there. <laughs> Let's see what this is. <coughs> huh. Call AAA Roadside to come and change a tire. <laughs> mm, wow. Huh. These pads for setting down are manual, done by a hand crank. I'll be darned. And I guess some type of adjustment here. Then we have idiots that like to put their stuff on, like to write graffiti on stuff because they're too stupid to read or something. I don't know. We've got a worm gear for raising it and lowering it. Wow, pretty cool. <clears throat> they already told me I can't drive anything, so yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And over here, we'll see what this rocket's all about. Well, that's little John. What if that's Big John? Don't know.
No, oh, I'm sorry, Honest John. Not much information on it. But I guess something like that would keep you honest. Then we have any aircraft vehicle. Somebody stole the headlight out of it. Just can't leave things alone. I don't know. Probably got broke, fell out. Wind is nuts. But yeah. It's like a fun little toy. I wonder what kind of power plant it has. Hmm. Be neat if he gave you some. Well, that's interesting for the exhaust flare-ups to keep you, I guess, from uh, setting fire to the woods. M4282 Duster. Self-propelled twin 40 millimeter guns. Cool. Here's another one. This single looks almost like a gun that would be on a Navy ship. I doubt it, but it looks like one. You know, small, compact. And then we have something that looks like a hedgehog. Yeah. Hope the wind doesn't dry everything out. Where I have to do a voiceover, but huh. Huh. M91. Let's go look at this big bad boy. That's something that'll get your attention. <sighs> Sergeant York. I'll be darned. I'd heard of it. Those little uh, items right there are for, uh, I think they're pretty much used to shoot out flares or smoke, either or. But uh, yeah, she's quite the little uh, piece of equipment. My hat's off to the mechanics on these things. My God. Rounded front end to deflect incoming rounds. That's good. Looks almost like a Bofor gun you see on a Navy ship from World War II. I think they still use the Bofors. But, uh, here's the visitor center. Let's take a walk up there and see what, see what they got. Yuma has a wide history of tests. Flim. Huh. Proving ground. Test station 51 to 63. Well, there's something nifty. One tank round. Self-propelled howitzer. Inside the visitor center. So how you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, doing really good.